It doesn't sound right, that's for sure. They know the deal now. Now they're just having fun, boys. This is awesome. Yeah. That is not, that is not how that's supposed to be. What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're installing the all new Predator 224 on my Haas drift car right here. Psych boy, we gonna go. All right guys, the time has finally come. Your boy finally got his hands on a Predator 212 Ghost. So this has been super hard for me because I'm from California. So we were obviously the absolute last people to get this. My local location actually had one, so I went and picked it up. And today I'm super pumped to be um, bringing back my beloved drift cart that you guys probably didn't even know was broken. So let's dive in. So Harbor Freight's Predator engine line has helped out hobbyists like myself for years. And the release of this engine is so important to that because it shows the recreational use of these engines and uh, it feels good that they are showing some love to guys who are throwing these things on uh, minis, mini vehicles, not just putting it in a lawnmower or a pressure washer like most Predators end up being. Um, I'm just so excited. I just, I wanna unbox this thing, let's go. On the outside here, we have some of my favorite packaging. Look at that. Beautiful Predator full kit. I'm jealous, I need one of those. But yeah, this um, is the engine and carburetor only. They also sell this kit right here, which um, buttons everything up if you don't have that. If you're familiar with race carts and stuff, um, selling an engine like this is actually perfect. As you can see, I have my engineless go-kart right here. And the only two things I need are an engine and a carb, and we're back running. So that couldn't have been a better purchase today. Now, while this engine is primarily for a very specific race go-kart class, you already know your boy is gonna throw some sleeves on it and absolutely beat the crap out of it because that's what I do. All right, let's unbox this thing. I am so excited, man. Um, childhood me would be crying right now if I knew that I would be opening up a go-kart specific Predator from a local store. That's just awesome. I, growing up in California, I never had access to Hemi Predators, so like the fact that they let your boys in on this one, love you, HF. We appreciate you boys. All right. Owner's manual, I'm looking at this one a little bit different, boys. I'm not gonna just chuck this one. Um, I'm gonna see what they say, because I'm just curious to see, you know, what Predator has to say about this. So I will be reading this thing before I operate it, just because I want to know exactly uh, the precautions, break in, and their specs as well. Put that to the side for now. Cool, packaging is already better than a normal Predator. Nice. You know they couldn't forget it, bro. Okay. Okay, mommy. Going ghost. Let's go. That's it. Simple. Literally, that's it. You get a funnel, an engine, and a spark plug wrench. All right. Oh, man. This thing is nice. All right, Predator, I see you. I see you. So first glance, I'm loving this thing. We got gloss red, uh, pull starter, nice matte finish on the blow, on the fan housing, fan blower housing. I forget the name. Um, yeah, dude, this thing is cool. Oh, they be sure to, oh no. Uh-oh. So already finding some damage on this guy. This little pump plate. Or, yeah, it's gonna be a pump plate for me. It looks a little bent. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm gonna see what I can do about that. So they're running a little PZ22 on this thing. I'm into it. Um, this cool, this kind of reminds me of the stock Predator stuff. I guess it's a 
vibration spacer. I don't know. But yeah, overall, I am stoked on this thing. I don't have to open it up, thank God. Uh, it's literally just throw some oil in and throw it on the cart and you have a performance racing engine, which is great. So it's kind of funny. Uh, a lot of the videos that uh, this thing blew up while filming um, are doing really good on my YouTube right now. So huge shout out to you guys. We were out at the track having a good, good old time. It was uh, basically two sessions in a row. And uh, you guys saw the clip from the first one. I'll put that right here. So yeah, super good vibes. Uh, and the good vibes stopped as soon as my rod decided to fall apart inside the engine and launch a hole through it. So here's the damage. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here, but yeah, that's not supposed to be there. So, so short story long, um, yeah, I blew this thing up and I've been sort of in between engines because I knew the ghost was coming. So it was like, oh, I don't wanna build a 224, I don't wanna build a 212, so I'm glad I waited, I'm glad I have this here today. Now I get to play musical chairs with my go-karts and switch them around uh, one-man band style. So uh, enjoy my pain. Look what was hiding under the pillow. A 10 mil and my hopes and dreams. Oh, honestly guys, this thing is a dirty girl. Um, I blew it up and left it because I knew that this day would come where I'm coming back to revise and clean the dust. So yeah, like always, we're gonna start with a good deep clean of this bad boy. Let's bring back this color. Um, I'm not gonna make you guys watch that, so. YouTube magic, do your thing. Yee, this thing looks way better. She's still filthy at heart, but you guys know the deal. Um, I don't wanna go too crazy on cleaning this thing because I'm about to get it dirty. Um, there are a few things I had to go over. The wang was loose, it still kinda is loose, but not too worried about it. Fuel tank was off, got that on. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be stealing some parts from the 80 for this video. It has a pump and some fuel line that I need to steal and throw in my cart. But um, with those two things, we might have a runner today, boys. Okay, so besides the fuel pump, this clutch is the only thing that I really need to add to this bad boy. To help anybody out in the market for a clutch for drifting, I run the Hilliard Extreme Duty 12 tooth number 35 clutch. I know that's a lot there, but um, do a little research and you'll be able to find Hilliard uh, does have a very unique C-clip style centrifugal clutch that I have loved since I found it. So, highly recommend this. That's what I'm going to be running on this bad boy right here. It includes a key weight on the clutch, so there's no need for this for us, but we do appreciate it. Ah, it's already spaced out. I love it. I love it. Appreciate you. Awesome. No need to run an inside spacer anymore. That's it. They know the deal. They know the deal now. Now they're just having fun, boys. This is awesome. So this is the pulse pump I'm deciding to use. Thankfully, they include a perfect spot to mount it on this pump plate, which is a beautiful thing because traditionally, you either have to make your own or buy one. So that's awesome. 
um, get that installed real quick. Ran into one pretty big setback, but it's actually the smallest little piece. So if you're a guy like me and you are using this race car engine for a race car, then you may already have a fuel tank that's in between your legs and a pulse pump that sends the fuel to your engine. Well, on the Ghost here, they do have a third go-kart style oil pickup here, and this is designed to actually give pulse to this pump. So, unfortunately, I did not buy one of those before I got this engine. They do include everything you need for a pulse pump in their performance kit, and there's that little fitting that I'm missing now, but I'm gonna have to source one by myself. I've already pulled all my local strings and I cannot find one of these today, so I'm gonna continue this install by basically buttoning everything up around the engine, but it'll make things easy because as soon as I get that fitting in, I'll be able just to swap it out, plug in the fuel line, and we'll be good. Okay, so I'm gonna tripod up and I'm gonna get the engine on because it's gonna make the cart look completely different. Ah, see this is the luxury of an engine like this that can just bolt right up to a cart that already has a nice mount. See, it just fills in that blank space. And boy, that thing looked clean. Ah, all right, let's get this exhaust on. Very, very simple here. Okay, got very simple off cam here, but um, yeah, throttle cable's connected and it is juicy. I'm loving the slide carb, guys. This is insane. Basically sorted everything out. Um, exhaust is on, engine's on, clutch is on. Maybe add some zip ties here and there, but if it had oil, fuel, and the pump was working, I could start this thing no problem. All right, guys, fast forward like five days. We have a package, let's go get it. We are most definitely taking the 110 speed to get it to. Oh, she's in here. a nice little catch tan here I'm pretty stoked on um, it was recommended with this new ghost so we are gonna run it what else did I get extreme and last but not least the one thing the hell is back here this little guy right here this little pulse fitting is what was holding us back here, fellas. So now, we'll be able to hook up our pump. Smooth sailing. Probably gonna hold off on the catch can install for a bit, just because I don't technically need that thing to run this thing and I'm super anxious to rip it, so. This is literally what I've been waiting to do. Uh-oh. Gonna disrespect him with the Briggs fitting. See you later. And if this doesn't fit, I'm gonna cry my eyes out. Oh my gosh, it does, okay. I didn't even check thread size or anything, I just hoped that the bridge would fit, and it does. Clone, by the way. And that is beautiful! So now, it hose from here to here, and it's ready.
That ain't a one hand job. All right, boys, that's the final for now. Um, I just need to get some oil in this thing. I'm choosing to run some VP today. Okay, boys, per the Predator Racing manual here, the recipe says 0.63 quarts of synthetic uh, 10 weight 30 oil. So I'm going to be doing exactly that. And what a beautiful time to whip out this nifty funnel that Predator Racing also includes in this kit. Sheesh! Let's do it. Well, miss, I guess I'll be on my way now. You just give me a... chain on it and drive it. If it's gonna break, it's gonna break. Likes it with the choke off. Okay, so obviously I do not want to beat the crap out of this thing because it does need to break in for 10 hours, says Predator Racing. So I don't want to be too crazy, but I'm definitely not going to wait 10 hours. So I'm probably just going to keep ripping this thing around, being kind of chill, and then we're going to give her the pepper when she's ready. All right, guys, so technically day two, working on the Ghost install. And now that I've had a little bit of time to get used to it, I think I'm stumbling, stumbling upon something that uh, I really didn't expect. So at this moment in time, I don't know if I'm tripping or not, but the engine sounds like it has some sort of clearance slash 
crank issue. And again, I don't know if I'm tripping or not because I've never had an engine like this, but at idle, I'm just hearing a noise that I've never heard with a Predator. So, um, of course, I'm being cautious about it. Um, I'm gonna try to capture it for you guys, but obviously those things don't um, transcribe too well into the videos just because uh, there's a lot of noises going on. So uh, it might be hard for average person to dissect it because the you're gonna hear this rattling around, you're gonna hear the chain and stuff, but I'm really worried about um, some sort of motion driven noise around this area of the engine. So uh, we'll see if you know we'll see if you guys can pick it up or not, but whatever. Anyways, I'm just gonna keep listening and see if this is something I should be concerned about. I might even start another car over there just to like remind myself the sound. All those fells though, um, Harbor Freight sold me a racing engine and I have a receipt, so I will 100% taking 100% be taking this thing back if that is an issue. But for now, I'm just gonna try it because it's already on my damn go kart. Watch this. First of all, it's vibrating super bad. Yeah. That is not, that is not how that's supposed to be. Um, I would love to open the side cover and take some measurements, but like I said, I do not want to avoid the warranty. That's like the most beautiful part of this is I have no worries. It's just going to be um, me finding another one. All right, guys, we got the engine off. We got it back in the box. We're going to head to Harbor Freight to return it. Because of the availability of these things right now, I was actually able to get a ton of help from Harbor Freight Delano. Those guys are super awesome and they put one of these engines on hold for me so I was able to get it. So yeah, I already have another one sitting right here ready to go back in the cart. That is just the perks of a local spot selling a race engine like this. So yeah, I want to get this one returned, let them know the deal, and then next video we'll be reinstalling this and actually trying it out. I appreciate you guys sticking around for the install. I've been really excited about this one, so I cannot wait to try it out and let you guys know what I think. So if you want to stay updated on the day-to-day -day stuff in between, make sure you're following my Instagram, TikTok, all that other stuff is going to be listed down below in the description. So yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Peace.